What's up, everybody? It's a blue drake? And today, we're going to be taking a look at something that's really cool. Um, so now, I've been putting this together uh, for a couple of days now. As you guys maybe know, if you've been watching my previous video, uh, you will have seen a lot of the demos that I've been doing showcasing things like NVIDIA Flex and the Chaos Engine and all sorts of different physics simulations inside of Unity, Unreal Engine 4, and also some standalone applications, which are pretty cool. Now, what we're looking at today is NVIDIA Flex inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now, there's no plugin for Unreal Engine 4 yet, so it's a real pain to actually create a build, uh, to compile a build using NVIDIA Flex. It takes forever, um, but if you know your way around Unreal Engine 4, it probably wouldn't take that long. But one of the things that I really wanted to see is I've also been covering a bunch of voxel plugins for Unreal Engine 4 that are capable of doing all sorts of cool things. Now, unfortunately, NVIDIA Flex has not been updated for a long time time. So there is no version of uh, this fluidic simulation that actually works with the latest versions of Unreal Engine, which is a shame because a lot of the voxel plugins that I've been showing are actually only compatible with 4.23 and higher, whereas NVIDIA Flex and all of these advanced physics simulations only work with uh, version 4.19, and I don't have nearly the skills or time required in order to uh, upgrade or downgrade either of those <laughs> into the other versions of the engine. Um, so what I did is I actually did a bunch of looking, and there's a previous Voxel plugin that I had covered that actually is available for 4.19. Uh, so I got that, I put that into uh, my project build, and I started experimenting with using its procedurally generated ter terrain geometry with the, the fluidic simulations, and it actually works really well, and it's really cool. Um, so here, I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff with this here. So first off, let's kind of, I've, I've kind of cleaned up the, the tool, and you've got this little gun, um, and you can, you can modify this procedurally generated terrain terrain. Uh, and you can use the mouse scroll wheel in order to change the size of the voxel editing tool. This is kind of like similar to Red Faction uh, days. You know, back in the day, Red Faction, I don't know how many of you guys played the original Red Faction, like PS2 era, uh, where you had voxel-based terrain. This is kind of like the same premise, but with fluidic physics, which is awesome. Um, I don't think the original terrain had fluidic physics. I know it had water, but I don't know how that water worked. You know, that's interesting. I'm going to have to like look into that again now, because I know there was water in that game. Wasn't there? Because there was a submarine level. I'm very curious about that now. All right, so let's play around with this, because one of the things you can dig here... So actually, actually, let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's build this big trench. Big trench. In fact, actually, let's make this easier, and we're just going to flatten everything here, and then we're going to build it up. So that way, and then see, let's see here. So maybe this big? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Dunk, 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 dunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I accidentally fell through the, through the geometry. Um, One second. There we go. Let me back in. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create this this giant this giant bowl, and then we're going to drill a hole in the side of that bowl. All right, let's see. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. All right, so, and then I'm going to get up here. Oh, my gosh, this is so hard. Uh, raise tool, just kind of make a little path for myself. There we go, and then we're going to use our flatten tool on top of this. Boink, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to dig ourselves a bowl, so we're going to dig. Dig, 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 dig. We got a nice, big bowl, and then we're going to drill a hole in the side, and you can actually see that the fluid will actually flow through um, a kind of like cavernous area. You can, you can create entire like tunnels that the fluid will flow through. Now, this is something that I haven't actually finished yet. I've been playing around with this, but since this... It, it, wrap your head around this, because... Combining these two mechanics is where stuff gets really, really cool. Because since this is deformable terrain, and the fluidic physics actually works with the, de the deformable terrain seamlessly, way better than I thought, you could actually create an erosion mechanic. Yeah, so you could actually have it so this fluid could come flowing down 
and depending on the terrain material, could actually erode away the, 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 the voxel-based terrain as it flows over it. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be incredible. Uh, so this this kind of changes everything, you know. And I don't I don't know. I haven't seen too many games. I actually have seen a few games that have fluidic physics, um, uh, but all of them are are hard coded. You know, none of them have mod support. So now there's a way to do it. So if you want to play around with this, Nvidia Flex, go grab that. It has fluidic physics, and then there's a voxel plugin on the marketplace. It's a hundred bucks, but it's the only one that's compatible with um, the version 19, 4.19 version of Unreal Engine 4, um, which is the only version that NVIDIA Flex is capable of simulating. Now, here's the thing. There's a bunch of us that actually believe that Epic Games is planning to recreate all of NVIDIA uh, NVIDIA's uh, physics simulation suite. Um, because a, a bunch of years ago, NVIDIA kind of like mysteriously stopped updating this software. And then recently, Unreal Engine 4 announced that they're going to be creating their own suite of physics simulation tools that are going to be replacing physics. And a lot of them, if not all of them, very are, are very ominously uh, are, are reminiscent of NVIDIA Flex simulation. So potentially here soon we might have native support for fluidic simulation uh uh for fluidic simulations in unreal engine 4 which is really cool so actually for instance let me just kind of uh i've been looking at some of these guys let's see what was where is it niagara water like here here is a developer who actually works at epic games so this is ryan brooks uh he's one of the guys that that uploads all of the the stuff that they're kind of like working on um and and he he works on kind of unreal engine 4 and this is the stuff he's been posting recently now there's this plugin system uh, the plugins so there's this effects uh suite uh this this effects tool uh that has been announced hold up can i hd this is this not hd for some reason um and it's called Niagara. Now, Niagara is actually a replacement for Cascade. I know your eyes are glazing over because of all of these technical terms, but Cascade was Unreal Engine 4's particle effects editor. Now, Niagara is a new particle effects editor that's been announced uh, by Unreal Engine, uh, kind of around the same time that the Chaos Engine and all of that stuff were, was announced. And it is infinitely more powerful and some of the things that they've been showing uh that i'm not even sure have been released yet i don't believe that this the, the the systems required for this specific simulation have been released it does say uh testing upcoming 4.25 niagara features so here soon we will have fluidic simulation native to unreal engine 4 Get hype. Get hype. Because that's going to be dope. So this is what you need to be following. You need to follow Ryan Brooks. You need to follow his work. Um, because if this happens, and uh, this could be the only the tip of the iceberg. Because think about it. You've got NVIDIA Blast, which I also need to showcase. Uh, NVIDIA Blast is basically like a system for simulating destruction and like dynamic explosive. Very similar to Chaos that was announced a long time ago. K uh, uh, Unreal Engine 4, Epic Games, they announced that they're going to slowly start replacing all of NVIDIA physics uh, uh, functionality with their own native solutions. You've got Chaos that comes out, which obviously is a replacement for uh, NVIDIA Blast. Now you've got Niagara and features for Niagara, which could potentially replace NVIDIA Flow and also NVIDIA Flex. Uh, and, and here soon, you might even have more, like cloth tearing simulation, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> It's going to be so cool. What a time to be alive. What, what a time to be an Unreal Engine 4 developer. Um, so this is really cool. Now, I really want to show this to you guys. I want to compile a build, and I want to make this downloadable. Um, but for whatever reason, my – so if anybody wants to take a look at this, please, can you, can you tell me what's wrong here? I don't, I don't know what's wrong, but my builds are failing. I don't get this. I don't understand. So just if you are – a smarter UE4 developer than me, take this second and look at this and tell me what the hell is wrong because it keeps saying that it's an unknown error and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> so, so yeah, I want to I send this to you guys because I have this all like ready to go right here um, and it's working, which is really cool, uh, but I can't, 
I can't send it to you. Now, now there's some other th cool things that I kind of want to show you as well. Let me move myself over here. Uh, this this Voxel plugin is actually pretty dope. Um, so I've actually got this this little simulation that I've kind of put together here. I put together a translucent uh, static mesh like box, so that way you're in an enclosed space. Uh, so that way, like none of the fluids or anything else like flows out. Um, so that way, it's like a really good sandbox experience. Um, but the cool thing about this, and let me go ahead and remove this box so die cube so one of the cool things about this in fact I'll get rid of these emitters too and this and this because I just want to talk about the um, the voxel generator now so I'm gonna go here this is the voxel generation tool um, that's pretty cool and you can actually right now I have it just set for like a single square but what you can do is this has a setting for procedurally generated real-time terrain generation which goes on for infinity so um, we can actually enable this and then whichever direction you walk in BAM it will generate fully editable by the way terrain so this is all editable all of this all of this is editable and furthermore it will still actually uh, work with oh did I delete the because I'm too much of a freaking punk Let's see, where's the fluids yeah here let's go ahead and doink 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 um, and then voxel generator generate everything yes and then all of this this even even the procedurally generated terrain which goes on for infinity still works with the fluidic simulation look it'll go forever and you can have like naturally occurring imagine if you combine this with like the erosion system you could have like naturally occurring like rivers and uh, rivers and 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 lakes and and oceans even possibly because you have a uh, there's another thing that I'm looking into which is Nvidia uh, uh, cascade cascade no cascade is UE four oh my gosh is it cataclysm what is it it's a C word there's a C word and it does like uh, it's like this but it's on like ocean scale uh, and it's like waveform or something NVIDIA wave something I, I don't remember um, but I really want to start experimenting with that because if we could take this simulation and we could actually have like ocean level simulations uh, we could potentially get to a point where uh, you have large uh, deformable dynamically shifting terrains that are influenced by this water flowing over it and 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 forming natural like deltas and and actually you could you could even have imagine if you created a system where you could create a full loop so you could actually have this fluid flow down into uh, this this voxel based terrain uh, with all of this erosion form puddles and then you could create a system that actually simulates evaporation and then it would evaporate into clouds and then go and shift dynamically through the sky over and then randomly it would rain on the 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 the, the, the hilltops and stuff like that and then it would start the whole process over again so you could actually simulate a fully shift ah! ah! <laughs> that would be amazing Look at this. I love like I love when you change the geometry and then it freaks out and then the water just goes boo. And then here's the other cool thing actually. So um, just to kind of drive this home, uh, you can you can continuously generate new landscapes. So every time I press the G key here, you'll you'll see that I can actually regenerate the landscape because it's a procedural generation tool, right? So like you can literally do whatever you want. Bam! Here's a new terrain. Ah. Oh, the cliff. Whoa. <laughs> There's the water. And the water will react to it. No matter what you generate, it will always... See, look at this. You could have, like, a natural waterfall just occurring, and it doesn't matter what you do. And this is with dynamic lighting and everything turned on. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. There we go. Okay, so there's actually a couple of other things that I kind of want to show, because now that I've created this, um, this uh, weapon that you can use. It's pretty cool because you can interact with all the NVIDIA Flex things uh, in the same way except cooler. So here, we've got this NVIDIA Flex. Look, I can shoot holes through it now. Boom. I don't know what I want to do with this. I'm having trouble getting the water to interact with the cloth in Unreal Engine 4. I have standalone simulations where it does it okay, but for some reason I can't recreate that effect in UE4. So if anybody wants to help me with that, please hit me up. 
But yeah, this is pretty cool. You got this little ball here that's made out of cloth, and then you can shoot holes in this thing. Look at this. I don't know. I'm having trouble figuring out what gameplay you could do with this. Like, I don't know. Imagine, like, I guess imagine if you're, like, underneath of a tent, and then there's, like, something above it, and you can't see it, and you take your gun, and you, like, you shoot holes through the tent at the top, and then there's, like, God rays shining. I don't know. That would potentially be cool. I have no idea. Cut this in half. Ha <laughs> ha! So that's pretty fun that you can destroy that now. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. So if you want to play with this, I would give you a download link, but all of my packages are failing, and I don't know why. I've been sitting here playing with it for forever, and now I've got other work that I have to do, so I don't know... I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, so if you want to help me with that, please do. In fact, if you want to, so again, if you are interested in Unreal Engine 4 development or any of this stuff, feel free to message me on Discord. Uh, Discord.gg slash Drakelings. We're also a, an official verified Discord, so if you want to search Drakelings in the, um, in the, the Discord discovery, uh, then you can find our server as well. And send me a message, because, you know, this is really cool. One one idea I had is imagine if we could have, um, like, a battleship simulator. So imagine if you could have... Because you've got Sea of Thieves, right? Um, I, f I have a feeling that we could use, like, actual dynamic fluid simulation like this to create a small mini-game where you have two, like, battleships, and then you have to, like, sink the other battleship. But instead of Sea of Thieves, which is a very clever... Like, Sea of Thieves does not actually simulate fluids. Um, it's it's a very clever way of not actually having to do fluid simulation. Uh, it looks like that, but all of the, like, the, 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 um, the, why can't I think of it? I don't, I don't really know. The, 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 the ocean, why, that, that was the word I couldn't think of. The ocean is just kind of like a very, very pretty, like, material shader, but it's all 2D. It's not like, it, to my knowledge, I mean, it's not like they're going to let me look at the damn source code, but from what I've played, it doesn't seem to actually simulate uh, fluid. It's just a bunch of, of very, very pretty material shaders and stuff like that that makes it look like there's fluid flowing, but it doesn't actually, it doesn't do this, um, because it would probably die, but I don't know, maybe, maybe it does, I don't think so, I'm, I'm fairly confident in that, but I, I as always, I could be wrong, because I am just a stupid tinkerer, so I do, I do my best, but yeah, so, this is cool, um, message me, please help me compile this, I had this idea, I was gonna make a puzzle game, where, uh, you've got, like, a water spigot, and then you have to, like, create, like, a path in order to get the water to um to like a, a place like a like a bowl or like a source or something like that and i was gonna have a bunch of different levels where like maybe some of the levels were um were like zero g and you actually have to like direct the water and there's like you know sometimes you'd be able to use like voxel based stuff and sometimes you you can't and, and whatever i don't know it was i've so the ideas the ideas flow so if you want to help with any of that please let me know this is really cool um, this is a 40 gigabyte, it took, again, it took forever to compile this. This is a 40 gigabyte UE4 project f f folder. <laughs> and literally all it has is NVIDIA Flex <laughs> in it. <laughs> Look at this, isn't this awesome? This is so cool. Look at this. This is the coolest stuff you've ever seen. Look, this is funny, when the terrain... When the train actually goes over the water, and then the water tries to still clip through the terrain. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? Here. Let's go up. And then go to the side. Uh oh. Look at that. Cascades down the side. Look, a little pool naturally forming down here. This is the coolest thing. Help me compile this for you so you can play it. Look at that. Sometimes the game crashes when I shoot it. Actually, not the game. The whole engine crashes sometimes when I shoot the water. I don't know why. Look at this. It's so cool. Gonna make a little tiny hole. I can't. I can't dig if the hole is too tiny. There we go. I think that's the smallest it can be. Carve a path. Go. Go. All right. Fine. Don't go. There we go. 
Yes, I am. I am Moses. Do, 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 do. It's kind of funny because the 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 water shader. You can actually see how it's simulated. You see how it's just a bunch of balls. Like that's really all any fluidic shader is. It's just a bunch of balls. Which, when you think about it, that's kind of all water is, anyways. It's just a bunch of atoms. There we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. All right, hold on. Let me get myself out of here. Yes. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. Okay. That's it for this video. If you enjoy this, let me know. If you want to play around with this, let me know. Help me package this. Help me fix these stupid compile issues. <laughs> um, and then I can give this to you guys, and you can play around with it. Um, I might even be able to give you the... Because that would be cool, right? Because there's all of these little demos, but you can't really play with them. Like, there's the NVIDIA Flex standalone demo, which you can grab. But there's not very many, like, UE4 demos that are playable. Um for some reason or another, and the only way to do it is to spend like literally 24 hours and only if you really know Unreal Engine 4 and how to like compile demos like putting together, like is putting NVIDIA Flex into your stuff, but it is possible. You can't do it. This takes forever, but it would be really cool because, I mean, this is a 40 gigabyte game, but I guarantee you I could, I could bounce this into like a 500 megabyte client. Easy. If the freaking package stopped failing to build. Let's see here. Let's... Dude, I can play around with this for so long. Let's make like a little divot here. That'll like run down into here. See, this is the cool stuff. Like you could actually create erosion. Like imagine what I'm doing right now, but just automatic. You know, you could have it and you could you could actually have it go over like infinite amounts of time. Like imagine you started like a single spigot and then you would just make it so like you could have actual melting physics. That would be so cool. Somebody help me <laughs> make that happen. Cause I am I am noob. I am amateur UE4 developer. I don't have that big brain. Oh my gosh, I can't stop playing with this. That's a good sign, right? Because then, then what would probably happen is once it coalesces in a pool, it'll probably start, like, doing what it... It would probably start creating caverns, because this is how caverns are formed, right? So it would start eroding away, and it would slowly... See? Wouldn't that be cool? Whoa. so awesome. Imagine if you had a game where there's like erosion. You know what I want to do? Do you ever, um, did any of you guys ever make like paper boats when you were a kid and then like send them down the storm drain? Imagine if you could have a game like that with this where it's like, and especially if you had like the erosion mechanics and everything, that'd be pretty cool. And then you like, you could only travel where the water goes. So, so, oh, that would be so cool. So you'd have, like, a little paper boat, and you can only go where the water goes. And the water's constantly eroding away the terrain, so, like, where the water goes would constantly be shifting. And, and maybe you could actually influence it? Like, you could, like, so you'd have, like, a paper boat, and, but you'd, oh, you could have, like, a paper boat, but you could have, like, a cannon, so that way you could, like, shoot at the world or, like, interact with the world, so you could potentially, like, Oh my god, that would be a genius. I don't know why I'm giving away all my ideas right now. Probably because I'm too stupid to pull it off myself. <laughs> That's all I can do. But what, what you could do is you have a paper boat, and then uh, you could have this game where like all this stuff erodes, but you could have like a little cannon on the paper boat. So you could actually, but you, so you can't like influence the world that much, but you could maybe influence it enough just to like kick off a chain reaction. So like imagine if there's like a dam, right? So you like come up and there's like this natural dam. Maybe there's like a bunch of logs in the way and it's blocking the water. You could maybe like shoot like an explosive that would blow the dam and then the water would flow again or you could do other stuff in order to actually influence like your environment. So that way you can, you can um, uh, float your ship to to where you need to go. Dude, it's so awesome. 
All right, that's it. Hopefully, if you enjoy this, you press that subscribe button. We also have a bunch of games on Steam that we're developing, so if you want to support us there, press that big buy game on Steam button and leave us a nice review if you enjoy the game. Um, although some of the games are still in alpha, so we're working on making them better. Um, so obviously, any kind thoughts are are appreciated, but honest thoughts are more important than than nice thoughts. Um, but nice thoughts are still nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, so if you want to support us there, please do. And if you're interested in any of this stuff and you want to get involved and want to help me make cool things that our community can play with, send me a message. This is just the coolest thing. Uh, I really want to look into... Here, I'm going to find it now. I mean, this, this video is already kind of like turned into... Let's see. NVIDIA Wave Simulation. What is it? Is it Cataclysm? Wave. So there's WaveWorks. I know that. Let's see, NVIDIA Waveworks, and then there's NVIDIA something else. Uh, NVIDIA, Cat is it Cataclysm? It is Cataclysm. Cataclysm real. Yes, it is Cataclysm. Right, right here. This. <laughs> so you could take the same premise and then just pfft, expand that. That would be sick. And then, uh, then there's NVIDIA Waveworks. Which, I don't know if Waveworks is... I don't think... I don't think Waveworks is actually fluid simulation. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure Waveworks... ...enables developers to deliver a cinematic quality ocean simulation for interactive applications. See, and again, I'm not... I'm not a full-blown engineer, so I have trouble deciphering the differences. But my impressions is that Waveworks is more like a material, like a really nice material shader. So it creates a lot of noise uh, a on a 2D surface that looks like an ocean, but it doesn't actually uh, like you can't you can't influence it as far as I'm aware. Like you can't actually here. Hold on, let's watch this whole thing before I potentially make a fool of myself. An inverse FFT step then transforms to the spatial domain, ready for rendering. The NVIDIA WaveWorks simulation is initialized and controlled by a simple C API, and the results are accessed for C API. HLSL Shader API. Is that SEA API, or is it like C is in the programming language API? Such as wind speed and direction. These parameters can be used to tune the look of the sea surface for a wide variety of conditions, from gentle ripples to a heavy storm-tossed ocean based on the Buford scale. In addition, we also provide an energy-based surface foam simulation, which is locked to and driven by the underlying spectral simulation. The foam simulation results are also exposed through HLSL shader. Yeah, see, this is just like a shader of some kind. I don't, I don't know the specifics of what you can call a shader and what you can't, but it's basically what happens here is anytime this boat goes beneath this 2D surface, it spawns a bunch of particle effects that make it look like splashes of waves. And then you've got this foam where essentially you can just create this this layer, uh, this shader layer, where depending on... here, Actually, I can do this. Hold up. There's so many of these. Hold up. What is it? Shader Toy Ocean. Because you can actually play with this with Shader Toy Oceanic. Here we go. And this is why this is a, a good distinction to make because these aren't actually fluidic simulations. This isn't a good example. Hold on, let me move myself back over. I don't really know what this is. Oh, no, no, this is a good example. Okay. So, like, for instance, here, if I were to, say, change this, um, compile that. Oh, shit. Five. Run. There we go. See? So now I can change the parameters of this material, of this, uh, this shader. But you see, but it's not fluidic simulation. It's like, it's just a, a shader. It's a two-dimensional shader, and you generate noise that gives the illusion, that gives the illusion of water, but in reality, it's just like a mathematical, it's just the visualization of a mathematical formula, uh, or like, um, what's the word? Algebra? Equation. Equation. Um, like, seven. 
and you and people don't really get this until I actually show them like the shaders that are functioning. But that's why this is so cool because this isn't just like a two-dimensional shader. This is full-blown fluidic simulation. And this is why I'm also really interested in where is it? So you've got WaveWorks, and WaveWorks is basically what I just like. It's like that shader that I just showed you, except like on speed. So it like it just looks really, really good. So it's just like a super refined version of that. But then you've got NVIDIA Cataclysm, and NVIDIA Cataclysm is, and I've been approved for this. I have the source files for this. I'm just trying to figure out how it works. Um, and there's no here. Here we go. So here's the demo reel for Cataclysm, and this was in 2016. So this stuff existed years ago. It's just people don't use it, or at least I don't know. Only certain people use it. Like it's weird that I don't see this in more games. It's very strange. So like, but this is like actual fluidic simulation. This is not just like a two-dimensional shader. See, look at this. Look at how like. This is basically the same thing that I was showing you previously, but on like a massive scale. Massive. So you could technically take this and then combine... I don't... See, that's the problem. I don't know if this would actually work. I'd have to test. This is why I want to keep testing, though. I don't know how this would work with dynamically shifting environments, like with voxels. Like voxel-based terrain. But if you could have this interact with voxel-based voxel terrain as seamlessly as we just saw with the the other fluidic like you could potentially have large scale like erosion mechanics even small scale erosion mechanics would be cool like imagine if you had like a place like this and you just filled it with sand and then you could just see the sand like get dispersed by the water that'd be super sick okay i'm done i'm done for real now 31 minute video i gotta stop when was the last time i did it what is this Oh, VXGI. I haven't seen VXGI in forever. This is basically a ray tracing system. I should play around with this more. I have the source code to this. But I don't have an RTX capable GPU. And I'm pretty sure you need that. I could be wrong though. This did come out in 2015. I did a video on this a long time ago. Hmm. VXGI is pretty cool too, but that's going to be for another video. Okay, see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. And I love you.